Ukrainian law enforcers managed to evacuate out of Vovchansk a wounded pensioner and a young man who was almost shot by Russian occupants. We realized who they were a long time ago, but these cases still shock us. A pensioner in Vovchansk closed his home during shelling and enemy attacks. Russian military knocked on his door, and without waiting for him to open it, they started shooting at the door and shoot at the man's finger off. Sergei Bolvinov, head of the investigation department of the main directorate of the National Police of Ukraine in Kharkiv region on Facebook. A 19-year-old young guy traveled to Vovchansk to pick up his grandmother. The Russian military stripped him, opened fire on an unarmed man and then threw him into the basement. Miraculously, the boy and his grandmother managed to get out of the city. The crimes of the Russian occupiers against the peaceful Ukrainian population have been known since 2014. But after the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, they have become massive. Putin and his regime must be held accountable for the crimes against the people of Ukraine. This is Kiev's position position and one of the points of the Ukrainian formula for peace. Ukraine announced the need to establish a special tribunal for the crime of Russian aggression back in 2022. In January 2023, the European Parliament adopted a resolution calling for the establishment of the tribunal. And in early April 2024, at the International Conference Restoring Justice for Ukraine, the idea of setting up a special tribunal was supported by 44 states. This is a difficult task. Ukraine realizes that it is solving it not just for itself. We, of course, want to condemn Putin. This is the first time in history when such a tribunal will be against the nuclear country and a permanent member of the Security Council. At the end of April, the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe instructed the Council's Security General to start preparing a draft agreement between Ukraine and the Council of Europe on the actual establishment of the tribunal. This is an important practical step, the Ukrainian Foreign Ministry said. This is critical not only for all Ukrainians who have suffered as a result of Russian aggression, but also for all nations seeking to live in a peaceful and secure world. Dmytro Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine on social network X. The special tribunal may start its work even before the end of the war. Ukraine's agent at the UN International Court of Justice, Anton Korinevich, has said everything depends on when Kyiv will come to an agreement with international partners on the model and format of its creation. The crime of aggression is an elite crime. It is a crime of those who can give orders to start and continue waging an aggressive war. Accordingly, representatives of the highest political and military leadership of the Russian Federation should be prosecuted for the crime of aggression. Anton Korinevich, ambassador at large of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, agent of Ukraine in the UN International Court of Justice, from the publication in Radio Liberty. Starting from July 2023, the International Center for the Prosecution of Crime of Aggression Against Ukraine has been operating in the hug. Ukrainian Prosecutor General Andriy Kostin said that Ukraine has convicted 81 Russian war criminals since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. 17 of them were tried in Ukraine and received prison sentences. The rest were convicted in absentia. Since February 2022, about 123,000 Proceedings on war crimes of Russian occupants have been registered. The International Court of Justice in The Hague is also investigating the illegal deportation of Ukrainian children to Russia. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.